What's up guys? Uh, so we're going to Cali this weekend. Got all the gear ready. All the gear packed up. See that? Different hoodies and everything. So I bought a couple things that I've been needing for a long time. I went and bought me a Makita uh, impact. Got the batteries for it. And I went and got me some DeWalt walkie talkies for the road and for the show. I'm gonna let Omar borrow one and we will be communicating through the walkie talkies. But I gotta go get an oil change on the truck. Not on the, on that one, but on the GMC. I'm actually gonna trailer that one over there. I'm, I, I'm not gonna be able to take my lifted truck because it wasn't ready but uh i'm gonna end up taking the gmc so i gotta go get an oil change for it i'm even though i'm a trailer over there i just want an oil change so whenever we're out there i don't have to be thinking about it because i had to add oil for the other show that we just went to so i'm gonna take her right now get an oil change and probably a little wash this is gonna be a short video i just want to really get the word out there that uh we're going to uh cti so catch us up there this weekend so let me get shit done i gotta move this truck out the way and then get that other one out and then i have to be at work today So I just picked up these legs, so I want to give my homie from Fortify Graphics a big shout out because unfortunately on the last show, our tent flew away and it broke the legs. Two of the legs, so I called the guys over at Fortify. They got me two brand new legs. Thanks a lot because without these two legs for my tent, I don't know how it's going to be sitting up over there in Cali. There's the tent. Got the two legs. We're going to put them on maybe at the show. It looks like all he needs is some Phillips screwdriver, so shouldn't be that hard. It's the middle ones. We set it up a day before the show, and unfortunately, it was very windy, and it blew the, the whole tent, <clears throat> and two of the legs came off. So shout out to you from Fortify Graphics for the hooking me up with the leg. I really need him. He's also the one who made my tent. So uh, if, if anybody's got like a car crew or like a car club or like a brand, he's the one who's making all the stickers. You see that sticker? He made that. He designed it. And all most of the tents that are out there at the shows right now, he's the one who's designing them and printing them. So if you guys need a tent, hit him up. I'm gonna put uh, his uh, Instagram on, right here on, on the video or something so you guys can follow him on Instagram. So thanks, dude, because without that, those legs, it wasn't gonna be insane. <laughs> struggles I have in a low truck. I really don't want to do an oil change at the house. Hopefully they have something. I see some wood over there. Yeah, I got some good shirt on. You got some? Yep. <laughs> uh, what do you want to use on this? Huh? What do you want to use on this? Uh, which one do you have? Regular oil, Benz oil, uh, mobile one, I have cash oil. Cash oil. Cash oil. All right. Uh, and uh, you want to use, use a regular 530 or the 1030? 1030. 1030, yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's not. Just 6 0. Camp 6 0. Camp? Yeah. Hold on. I gotta open it from over here because I broke the wire. So I gotta. There you go. Uh, YouTube? Yes, sir. Nice, man. It just sounds like it's fast, but it's not. <laughs> I mean, you got track numbers on it. But it's fast. It ran 12 9 on the quarter mile, so. I mean, that's not fast. How fast? I mean, that's pretty good for it. Yeah, for, for a pickup truck? Yeah. Come on. Heavier? I think that's pretty good. So nine, I guess. Yeah. It's not 
Okay. This used to be owned by the different guy, right? This? No, I remember it was like an older white guy. Oh, well, like a couple years back, yeah. Yeah. Tired. Yeah. I used to come here a long yeah. time ago. But I started doing the oil change myself, and then today I'm like, nah, fuck it, I'm just gonna go back over there. <laughs> yeah. uh, this one with oil change, uh, what year is it? It's a 2000. It's a 6.0 liter. 6.0 in it? Yeah. Let me see which filter, but it'd be uh, anywhere between about 49 to 56. All right, cool. The Castro. Oh, the Castro GTX. That's what the guy that built the engine told me to use. So that's what I've been using. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Well, I've been using that oil for a long time and it hasn't ever given me any problems. So it should be a good oil. I used to come to this place a long time ago, back when I used to live over here in this area. But I moved, so I started doing the oil change myself. But I just don't have time today. So I'm just going to get it done here. And I don't even think I'm going to have time to watch it. It's already 2. I got to be out of the house by 3. So I can get to work at 3.30. Then, so I'll probably just get the oil change and go home. They come with 21 pounders. I'm run, I was running 30 pounders with the 10 psi. But is it just a single turbo or just what? A single turbo. Uh, this is a Mercedes diesel turbo from like the 80s, bro. No it's, shit. It's still, it's still good. So right now I'm gonna focus on making it clean, tucking it. I got the new manifold inside. But right now we're running 60 pounders. We went up 30 pounds. So you're running 60 pounds of boost on this car? No, no. Oh. Injectors. Oh, okay, okay. 60 pound uh, injectors. 10 psi for now. Okay. Testing the waters right now. See where it goes. But uh. Have you run it at the track? No, but I know his M3 the same year. Yeah. Is NA like 270 or something like that. He's hitting 13s. This is probably 13s? This is probably hit 12s, 11s or something. Hopefully. That's pretty good, dude. Hopefully. I just ran mine this past weekend. They ran 12.9. 12.9. That's badass, bro. Yeah. Uh, I'm older. 6.0. You have a channel? Yeah. Top yeah. ready in the six. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, I got. I'm at 98,000 subscribers, so hopefully badass, we get to 100k. Badass. Well, I'm a, I'm a new YouTuber too. No shit. Yeah. What's your channel called? Uh, Hello's Garage. That's H E L L O. Apostrophe S and then garage. Um, so what else do you out. do? We have work on like huh? turbo oh, cars or what? Yeah, we're turboing another Beamer. Oh, uh, he's running a big diesel Beamer. So uh, no shit turbo. So it's a uh, we just started like maybe two months ago, three months yeah. ago. We only have 40 subscribers, but we're getting we're getting there. You know? You'll get that yeah, shit. Hopefully there. you get some whenever I put this video up. Yeah, badass man, badass. Uh, cool yeah. man. So they'll be seeing this one and another. Another one. All right. We got a lot of projects too, man. We're gonna be out there. We're just getting everything ready. Getting everything Hell ready. yeah, dude. A little content here and there. Yeah, I'm, I wanna put a turbo on that one. They told me that if I turbo it, it might hit 10. So with the motor that it's got right now. Yeah, might work, bro. Bad. I don't know. pull back right I got electric cutouts on there, that's why. Oh, really? Yeah. Open up and close them. Whenever there's a cop behind me, I gotta close them, you know? Yeah. Hey, that's smart, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is the address, guys. If you want to come with your drop truck, they'll make it work. 1323 West Mile, Houston Road, Houston, Texas, 777038. All right.
Alrighty. Cool, bro. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. You have a safe trip. Yes, sir. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Take it easy, dude. Yeah. Look Thank on you. your channel. Thanks, man. Hopefully, you get some subscribers. Alright, Alright, man. Alright. Now, truck is ready for some more burnout. Also, big shout out to Tires R Us because they are uh, hooking it up with the tires for the burnout. You know what I'm saying? So it's, that's that's a big hill, but buying tires all the time is kind of kind of gets expensive. So they're hooking it up. So big shout out to Tires R Us. Check out their Instagram. Hopefully, I make it to work on time. Two ten. That should be good. Should I wash it? Should I run through the wash? I probably just run through the wash. I know a lot of you guys gonna talk. Shit, as I say, my paint's gonna get scratched. My paint's already up. So I'm uh fuck it. running through the wash. Check out that truck. I was going to get out and record it, but some guy from the gas station came outside. He's like, stay in your ass in the car. So I guess I got to stay in here. They probably saw me on the cameras when I was setting up my phone and shit. Damn it! Look at that guy. He's standing right there. Look. You see him? Right there. <laughs> there he is. Cops on me? No! Fix my mirrors. I'm gonna go home peacefully. There's Mr. Officer right there. Now he's just pumping gas. Guys, well that's gonna be it for this video. Sorry it's a little bit short, but I have to cut it short because I gotta get my ass to work. And uh, we'll catch me at TTI. We're gonna bring this truck out there, hopefully do some burnouts. Got my oil changed, so I got I got fresh oil for a burnout, and I'm gonna get a new set of tires for the burnout. We're gonna block the whole way over there. I got a drone, so hopefully I can figure it out how to use it before we get over there. And uh, yeah.